Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle and this channel is called uh, Michelle's Collections and I would like to share with y'all uh, some things that I love to collect. One of those things being lounge fly bags and I just got these in today. I absolutely love them and I wanted to share them with you. So this first one is the strawberry shortcake. Um, it's like a house, it's a little house, and it has this little door that opens, and inside is strawberry shortcake, and it smells really good, it smells like strawberries. It's an ivory color, it's like an off cream with pink polka dots. It's, it's so, it's so special because it really does look like the older strawberry shortcake character. I don't really un undo the straps unless I wear it and until I wear it um, I'm not going to undo those. And I really do get my lounge fly bags to wear, not really to collect and hang but just to, you know, to wear. So I don't have that many. I want to say I have under 10 or just about 10 so far. And I've just recently started collecting them um, ever since the holidays after December. My daughter, my older daughter, uh, she's about 19 years old and I got her a lounge fly backpack and when it came in the mail I was absolutely in love with the details. I was shocked at how how um, inexpensive it was. I want to say I, I, I may have paid a 60 to 70 and it was so stunning. Me and my younger daughter, we wrapped it and that was our favorite gift that we bought her. And uh, since then, I have been shopping for lounge fly bags for myself. And I, oh my God, look at this detail, the image. Isn't it so cute? Anyone from born in the 80s to 90s knows about strawberry shortcake probably. And there's the plaque. I'm not sure exactly why the plaques are such a big deal, but everyone does love how different they make the plaques, which is, which I love too, because every bag is very, is very individual, you know, it's very unique. They all have their own lining and sometimes they have pockets inside. Bear with me. So this one, if I can get in here, this is so hard. So it's going to be this pink strawberry shortcake lining. It's very pretty. I actually wish that that was the outside of the bag and not the inside of the bag. But I do absolutely love that one. So this one is on sale right now, um, several websites have it, like loungefly.com, um, I want to say Box Lunch might have it, or Circle of Hope, uh, Toys and Fun. So this is the second strawberry shortcake one I got. This one just came today. This one I had ordered from uh, Toys and Fun. Or no, no, I'm sorry. This one was a Loungefly ex exclusive. So sometimes this, the web the sites have their own exclusive Loungefly. And oh my god, I love these. I love it when they add the keychain. Uh, you know, some kind of cute keychain. I just love it. And again, side pockets on this one. This one has the indents. Like it's, it's like it's like an actual strawberry. <clears throat> and this is the cosplay with Strawberry Shortcake's head. And look at that plaque. It's, it's like a it's like a beautiful red, like a cherry red color. This one is so stunning. I mean, they're both they're both amazing, but in their own way. But I'm so happy I got both and and I I didn't just choose one how my plan was, you know, initially. And 
Let's see the inside of the bag. I haven't seen the inside of this one. Let's see. Okay, there it is. It's strawberry, strawberries and flowers. And this one is so pretty. So it has this green, these green, bright green straps. They're, they were almost too green for me because I'm not a green person, but I really do love how they look on the bag. They break up the red. And not only that, but they, they did the bottom of the strap like a, um, like a striped white and green. And I love that. I just, I love that so much. I don't know why it looks so cute. Almost like a watermelon vibes. And then of course the bottom is, is green. So cute. So cute. I love this. So we're in my closet. And what do I do when I get new bags? I like to make my outfit. I like to think, what am I going to wear this with? Where am I going to go when I'm wearing these bags? And to me, this screams very, you know, summertime, cute summertime, springtime. So I got out one of my dresses and I haven't worn this dress yet. This is a Tory dress and it's just a blue, um, I would say a midi dress. It's a very midi dress and uh, it has this cute like peekaboo right there on. And so it's very cute and it looks very summertime-ish. And so that together, super cute. So that's what I'm going to wear, you know, with these bags I like to wear, I like to kind of get into the character I know that sounds funny, right? Does anybody do that? When you wear your lounge flies, do you get in character? If I'm wearing my Cinderella lounge fly, I like to wear blue and white like I'm Cinderella. Oh my God, I love it so much. Now, why is this, why are these lounge flies so special to me? Not specifically because of the characters, not specifically because I was super into strawberry shortcake when I was little. Why do I love these is because when I see this, when I see these bags, I think of, it takes me back in time. Not only do they smell like strawberries, they actually put scented strawberry smell on these and it smells just like the dolls when we were little. But this is so classy to me. It reminds me of a time of how things used to be you know, playing with my siblings, just being in my, my parents' old, old house in the backyard, you know, things that we used to play, games we used to play together or toys we used to have, you know, because I came from a big family. I, I came from a family of 10 kids, 10 kids, not parents, two kids, 10, two parents, 10 kids. So when one of us got a toy, it's almost as if you all got a toy because we would share everything. So I remember my sister got strawberry shortcake and I think my older sister did too. Um, and, and we all played with them. We all played together. We were just, you know, we always shared. We didn't have, we didn't have any definition for the word mine. It was just not a part of a vocabulary in a, um, in a house of 10 kids. So yeah, when I wear these bags, they were, they're so special. They remind me of how things used to be. You know, they take me back in time. And I think that's so special, how they really captured a lot of details when they make these bags. They do it so artistically. It's like you're carrying a work of art. So this is my third one that came in today. Oh my gosh, yes, it's stunning. I think when I opened this one, I did a, wow, I know even my husband walked in and he was like, wow, that one's, that one's really nice. And it is, it is so nice. So 
what I love about this bag, what I was thinking, because this is the Sleeping Beauty that was on hold for a couple of months. It was on pre-order. We had to order it from Toys of Fun and wait for it to come in. And I really thought that it was going to switch. I thought they were just going to surprise us and that this was going to switch, to, you know, to pink. I thought it was going to be like, you know, that, that kind of <clears throat> sequence that you could flip over and it turns into a different color. But that's not the case. No, this one's not flipping anywhere. It doesn't move. It's, it's all pink and it's gorgeous. I love pink. So I don't have any problem with wearing the color pink. I can wear pink every day and be happy. And uh, surprisingly, most of my stuff is blue, but I love pink and this bag sparkles. So if you have the original Cinderella, the blue and the white one, this one is almost just like that. It's going to give off this sparkling just a sparkling effect can you see that it's like it's almost like those white rocks that sparkle like diamonds oh my goodness look at the back so this um surprisingly i, I don't know what happened to the straps the straps came no of course this was a uh pre-ordered bag so it's it hasn't been used or anything but the straps came open but they're beautiful beautiful pink straps and look at that the little wheel in the back is gorgeous oh my gosh it's just it's just so artist artistically done and I really love these ones that that don't have um honestly I love the ones with the characters in the front of the bag but I love these two that don't have anything um, we know it's specific to Sleeping Beauty because we know about, you know, Loungefly and Sleeping Beauty and we're collectors, but some people don't. So they may think, oh, she's just wearing a bag with a castle and it goes with her dress, you know, and, and I like that. Sometimes I like a bag that's, uh, that's a little bit more, not basic, but it's, it's, it's not too, too specific. So for this one... It's so easy to pair with a lot of different clothing. It has colors in there like blue, purple, pink, white. You could pretty much wear this with so many things. But what do I pair this with? Oh, well, funny you should ask. I'm going to be pairing this with this beautiful, beautiful uh, pink, pink dress that I got from Torrid. And I'm a size one. And this is just stunning. It is just stunning. I love this. I love this dress. As you can see, I got a couple more other lounge flies in the back there. And, uh, by the way, this is the top of my closet. So I'll give you all a quick peek up there. But there's bags, more bags. One of my favorite things to collect is bags. So, I absolutely love bags. And it was Dooney and Burke for about 15 or 16 years. Um, I just recently got into Loungefly. Oh, these are my beauties. Aren't they so beautiful? I like to just come in here and stare at them. They're just so gorgeous. So that dark blue one on the left with the castle my husband just wanting that one in March for my birthday, and I'm planning to wear it to Disney World in December. And there's my Cinderella one. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. It's just like the Sleeping Beauty one, but it's Cinderella. And if you don't have that one, you gotta get it. Find it on Macari or, you know, whatever you have to do, but that one's gorgeous. Just like this one. So... I have a lot of collections, a lot of collections that I love, makeup, bags, dresses, you know, um, it's funny because I come from a big family, but out of all my siblings, I don't think anyone is quite like myself where they collect, you know, that they, the, the same things I collect. And sometimes, um, even my own family, my husband, my 
two daughters, it's hard to connect with them on a level that I would like to connect with someone, you know, as a collector. When you have a love for these types of things, you want to be able to talk about them. And sometimes it's, it's just hard if other people don't, you know, um, necessarily really gravitate to the things that you do. So that's why I'm making this video. That's why I decided to make my own channel, Michelle's Collections, and you'll see a lot more of the things that I love to collect. Um, eventually, I'll be in them too. I just had to wait till the end of the day to make these because these came so late today. But I had to pop on here and make a video. Especially because of the, a lot of the bags that I like, um, specifically with Loungefly, I do feel that they're a lot harder to find on YouTube or uh, when I, when I, you know, the people that I know that have lounge flies, they don't usually uh, collect the ones that I'm looking for. Oh my God, this bag is so cute. Look at the pink, the pink piping. Oh my God, so pretty. I never, I'm never going to get tired of looking at these pretty bags and I love how it has embroidery. Anytime it has embroidery, I'm obsessed. And these all have the cute little keychain. This one has a cute little keychain. This one has a cute little keychain. I love it when it's not just a zipper. Loungefly is so awesome. They don't give us just a zipper. They know, like, we want more. Oh my god, so good. Um... I don't even know what I was telling y'all guys a few minutes ago, but yes, um, so hopefully I'll be making more, more videos and you'll be able to see more of my cute things, um, you know, just really quickly since we're all on here together. This is one of my prior lounge fly bags. Oh, I'm so sorry guys. I'm, I'm horrible at this. So this one is... The Golden Girls. Oh my god, I love them. I love them so much. I have too much to say there. I grew up with the Golden Girls. You know, I watched them as a young girl when I was, I think when around 19 and 20. I was going to college. I was living with my boyfriend. I was working overnight for a long time, for many years. I worked night shift and it was so depressing, but I would get home. I would get home and nothing would be on that early except for the Golden Girls and I would watch them and they would put me to sleep and I'd be there all alone in the morning thinking about how crappy my job was because I was a um I worked at a crappy place I'm not gonna you know name any places on here but it was it was a little sad it was a little depressing I heard a lot of depressing stories from from people and I felt like I was a counselor even though I was just a young 19 or 20 year old, people told me their whole lives and it was insane. But when I watched the Golden Girls, I thought, God, what a life, you know, what a life to live. They're in Florida. They were living in a big old beautiful house, living with all their best friends. And, and they were just so funny. They made, they made me laugh. They had some, a lot of funny moments, but even some sentimental moments they had a lot of teachings you know just a lot of little things that you learn throughout this the episodes and I don't know you know I when I was young I thought I'm probably gonna watch this like 20 years later and think oh that house is nothing but no I you're wrong I put it on I was wrong because I put it on recently I got all seven I bought all seven seasons and I've been watching it with my little girl who thinks they're they're hilarious as hell and she's nine so she she thinks they're hilarious and I still love that house I'm like oh my god I still want to live in that house with my best friends when I'm older yeah so it never gets old I love them they're the best now this is my really cute baby Oh, isn't he cute? Oh my goodness. Every time I see him, I just want to squeeze him. I want to squeeze him, but at the same time, I don't because I don't want to bend it out of shape. 
this is my my little poo oh my gosh she's so cute i don't know why it's so adorable and i love winnie the pooh stuff i got a lot of winnie the pooh shirts i got a rumbly in my tumbly oh you poor little boo bear it's so sweet he's just so cute and that would go cute with a little blue dress it is so fun to dress these up I have a lot of these Winnie the Pooh tops and I like to, you know, put a red skirt with them. Um, even a yellow skirt. I have a yellow and I have a red and I like to dress like I'm Winnie the Pooh. I know, it's crazy. It's so fun, right? Y'all know what I'm talking about. And so this is, I think this was my first one. I'm pretty sure this is my first one, um, but it's My Little Pony, and it doesn't get any more better than My Little Pony. This is, uh, so I was born in the 80s, so this is what my to-go-to -to toy was for, I don't know, until I was 10. So I love this. I love this. I love everything about it. I love the colors, this, the pink straps the blue and the white. It even has the Pikachu boob door the, that's the the castle door. It opens and there's two My Little Ponies. Oh my god, look at all that art. They could have put one or two ponies. They did not. They put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this is my favorite, the embroidered birds the embroidered birds oh my gosh they're so pretty i know it's so stunning this is like this really makes you feel like like i'm walking around like with a little piece of a work of art i just love the geniuses who create these bags they're the best so these are my happy my you know my happy place these take me to my happy place when I see these gorgeous bags and I want to get dressed and go somewhere. It doesn't matter where I'm going. I'm going to have a cute bag. And let me bring out that little mermaid one since we're right here. So my husband got me this one as well for my birthday from Pink a la Mode. Pink a la Mode. And it has a little flounder. Oh my god, so pretty. I love this bag. I haven't even been brave enough to wear it. I'm so afraid that I'm going to break off one of the pearls or the sequins. But it's so pretty. Look at the front. It looks like scales. Like mermaid scales. And I want to say the plaque is like a... It looks cream on here, but it's not cream. It's not. It's like a... It's like a seafoam green, just like this, just like the bag, seafoam green. And yep, I haven't even taken the the back apart because I haven't worn it yet. Wow, look at this, guys! It's embroidered. I've never seen one like this. It's embroidered. The whole back is embroidery of the castle. It's so beautiful. I'm not gonna lie guys, I just noticed that. I don't know where the heck my head's been. How did I not notice this before? I'm telling you, it's probably because I couldn't get my eyes off the front. I love it. I love, love, love it. I'm saving this one for the summer, so I'm definitely gonna be wearing this in my summer days, you know, with jeans and t-shirts and sandals and it's going to be so cute. But. Oh my gosh. I don't even know. Which one's my favorite? There's so many. And. Oh, it's so cute. God, my kids must think I'm insane. I have more cute things than them. <laughs> Well, guys, 
thank you all so much for joining me thank you thank you for watching my first video and i'm sorry if i'm a mess i'm moving all over the place here i hope i didn't give y'all motion sickness i get motion sickness easily and i i would hate for y'all to get sick um but thank you so much for watching my video of of these cute little bags and I hope you have a lounge fly. If you don't, please get one. You need one in your life. They make you so happy. And um, before I go, I would like to tell y'all some words of wisdom that I wish somebody shared with me. So in your life, don't wait for someone to tell you, okay? Buy the dress. Eat the cake and take the trip. But definitely, definitely buy the bag. <laughs>